How's it going guys? Alex here. Welcome back to another Doken Battle video and today we're going to go over which wish you should pick when it comes to the Purunga wishes. Of course, we are able to collect one Namekian Dragon Ball per day and if you haven't seen those particular set of videos already, my boy Truth, which I will leave the link to in the comment section down below, has been making videos each day on how to obtain, um, obtain the Dragon Balls, pardon me, the moment that they come out. So be sure to check them out the moment that he releases those videos. Again, I will leave his channel in the description down below. And of course, I will go over the current wishes that we have. The last one should be obtainable in around, uh, I want to say 16 hours or so. And the wishes are very, very good. And there is a lot of information to go over. So, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day as always. And if you do enjoy today's video, consider leaving a like and subscribing if you are new. Let's quickly move over here. So, um, just actually, it's actually, okay, so... It's a part of the special mission, so when you perform a wish, either Shenron or Purunga, you get one dragon stone. So, I mean, it's not that many dragon stones, but it, it's a nice reward. And here we go, the Purunga wishes. Every day, you can collect one dragon ball. There are 21 dragon balls to collect in total. Purunga will grant three wishes each time you summon him for a total of nine wishes, which is dope. So tomorrow, um, when we are able to summon him for the first time, we will have three wishes. And we will, uh, we will be able to collect the Dragon Balls two more times for a total of nine wishes, which is great. Every day, there will be a hint where you can find the Dragon Ball. The missions are valid up until the 6th of March. Therefore, you don't have to complete the mission on a day they become available. You can do all missions on the last day, which is before the um, this particular time. So before the 6th of March, if you choose to do so. So day one, to get stronger, you need to train every day. That's, of course, train a character. Day two. Um, investigate the buttons to switch from events and quests. Pretty straightforward. Just switch from quest to event three times. Fight together with one of the lowest freezer minions. Be a stage with Quee on your team. Of course, that is the reason why he is in the barbershop and you can obtain him with one gem. Day four him, an old lady that looks uh, that likes to look at money and fights is looking to trade, buy something in the barbershop with points. An unusual scouter detection. Go to the summoning screen. Or Garsha screen and press on the scouter in the top right. I will display the featured units, which is pretty straightforward. You don't have to summon or anything. Day six, getting your allies with the bond of um, with the bond with your friends. Do a friend point summon. So that's pretty straightforward. And last wish most likely won't be that hard. So you should be able to summon Purunga the moment that you obtain that Dragon Ball. But now to go into the main topic of this particular video. What do you do with the wishes? Which one do you pick? And that is the wrong thing. Okay, here we go. Now, these are the wishes. And it's, it's interesting because we are technically getting nine wishes. But from this particular list, like, there's only seven. So, we have the gems. We have the Kai's. Oh, uh, or the um, orbs. Pardon me. We have the orbs. We have the Kai's. We have the gems. We have Zenny. We have medals. We have training items. And we have support items, which is a total of seven wishes. And I just shot the Reddit post. Hold on. Okay. Uh, this should take us back. There we go. I'm just gonna keep this open just in case. But as you can see here, we can have a total of nine wishes. So can we wish for multiple things multiple times? Because if this is the only set of wishes that we have, then we should technically be able to get stuff like the orbs multiple times. We should be able to get the grand um, supreme grand kai. You know, stuff like that. But when it comes to uh, which wishes you should go for straight away, your main three by far are going to be the orbs, the supreme grand kai's. And when it comes to the third one, it's honestly pretty interesting. When it comes to the gems, you can buy the reversal item to, of course, reverse your units. You can buy some of the units from the barbershop. You can buy some of the medals. So that, um, there definitely are some uses. It, even the Kai's, are something I completely forgot about, just regular Supreme Kai's that, of course, you can use on any type. But the thing about these Supreme Grand Kai's is that you have to use them on the type that they are for, which, I mean, isn't so bad because you are getting three of each type. But when it comes to the regular Supreme Kai's, of course, you do um, want to use the gems on those ones in particular. I think Zenny is probably one of the worst wishes on this particular list, if not the worst. And the reason why is because it's extremely easy to farm Zenny. Yeah, I, I think it'll give you around 10k, um, 10 million Zenny, if I'm not mistaken, which is nice and all. But if you just spend a decent amount of stones to farm the Hercule event, you'll be able to get a Zenny in no time. I feel like, to be honest, that's a bit of a waste of a wish. I think another really good... To be honest, all of these wishes are very good. Apart from maybe the gem one and the um, Zenny one. I mean, unless you're very desperate for the Zenny and you can't be bothered to farm, then yeah, go for the Zenny one. And even the gem one, to be honest, because gems are just terrible to get. It's honestly one of the worst things in the game to grind. So, it, I mean, the gem wish isn't so bad if you do have Kai's in the barbershop. So, definitely keep that in mind. Of course, we have the medals as well. Seven Supreme Kai's 
And the seven Elder Kai medals are very good as well. We have the 30 medals for just the um, East, West, North, and South Kai. Of course, we have the other medals, which I believe are the silver medals, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, these are the medals that you can obtain from the silver capsules. These are the bronze medals. And then, of course, we have these, which you can obtain from just the plain medals. And this actually isn't a bad wish because it's giving you a decent amount of medals for every single type. And it's just so easy to run past them if you're awakening units to maybe feed into a better SSR. For example, when it comes to the... Um, who's a new farmable unit that we got? I'm trying to think off the top of my head. The Agility... Um, Gallic Garden Vegeta, which of course is a Super Strike unit. If you want to go ahead and awaken a ton of those and feed it into the new physical one, you can do stuff like that. Even just the base Vegetas, which do work on a physical Gallic Gun one. But like, those are units that you still have to awaken and they take up a decent amount of metal. So that may be something that you want to consider. When it comes to the training items, honestly, this may be the third best wish on this particular list because you're getting the Times 2 Gravity Chamber. You're getting the um, training area, which is the Supreme Kai planet, and the way that that particular item works is that when you put a decent amount, we can have up to five, by the way, when you put five training partners, you're getting 50,000 XP per training partner you have. So that isn't a bad um, training area by any means. But of course, the best one is going to be the um, times two gravity uh, chamber. But the other thing that it gives to you is a hundred swords, which is ridiculous. And you are also getting 50 turtle shells. 50 turtle shells of every type. 100 swords of every type. That is a very good wish. And when it comes to the support items as well. So, to be honest, here's my issue when it comes to the support items. The ushers are good. The Maroon, or... Well, I think that is actually the right way of pronouncing a name because nothing else seems right. Maroon. Uh, we have the Future Bulma item. We have Android 8. We have Princess Snake. We have Whis. The Scouter item is just terrible. But think about it this way. 100 ushers. It, that's uh, straight away. That will allow you to be stockpiled for a decent amount of time. The Future Bomb item does recover your health and gives you an attack increase for two turns. So that is a very good item. I personally use it for a Super Battle Roy, but that's kind of because I have to. The Android 8 item is good as well. It recovers your health and it gives you a uh, either 30 or 50% offensive increase. You have the Princess Snake that recovers your health and gives you a damage reduction. And then you also have the Weeds that gives you a 40% damage reduction. So all of these items are very, very good apart from the Marin. And, of course, the Scouter item, which I don't even know what it does, but I'm pretty certain that it's, it's bad. I mean, uh, it's, it's kind of, I believe it's kind of similar to the um, other Scouter item that allows you to see super attacks. But the point is, it's not a very good item. You can just tell by the fact that it's not obtainable from a gold capsule. And the majority of the items that are good, are, you know, are obtainable from the gold capsule. So, let's go over the wishes I should get. It, it's honestly situational. The two that are basically must-haves are the um, Supreme Grand Kai's as well as the Potential Orbs. Because here's the thing. When it comes to the Potential Orbs, if you don't, at the very least, have the bottom right path open or the top left path open, the three Potential System buffs do benefit a unit when it comes to their damage output and, of course, defensive capabilities. But they don't necessarily provide much when it comes to crits and additional attacks, of course. They, you do have the free ability, which the majority of the time is going to give you a 10% chance to either get an additional attack or a crit. And of course, when it comes to n type units, you have the 5% um, chance to dodge. But then you move over to the Supreme Grand cards. It's like, if you don't have those particular units at Super Attack 10, you aren't capable of opening the bottom right path. So it, it, it's situational here and there. But thankfully, because you are able to make free wishes per time you summon him the first two that i think you should go for 100 percent are the potential orbs and the supreme grand kai's and when it comes to one of the other wishes it honestly depends on what you need i think that you should personally go for the training items or the support items and then i would go for the gems and i would probably end up putting Zen as any last even the awakening medals are a very very good wish so i mean you can even end up summoning for all of them because you can like, um, like we saw before, you can make a total of nine wishes, so you can just summon for them at least once. You may, be, um, you may be extremely low on awakening medals, so you may want to go for that. You may be low on training items, you may be low on support items. Basically, when it comes to the third wish, just go for the thing that you are extremely low on. Don't go for the Zenny, because that's not necessarily something that you can't farm, and it's easily obtainable. The um, green gems are something that you could potentially consider if you want the Kai's, but it's like... If you're already making the wish for the Supreme Grand Kai's, there's no point in going for the Kai's because realistically, you will only be able to buy like three or four. So I would maybe leave the gem wish for last. But the two that you should go for right off the bat are the potential orbs 
and Supreme Grand Kai's. And when it comes to the third wish, just go for something that you are low on. I would put Zenny dead last. When it comes to the gems, like I said, if you have a few Supreme, um, Supreme Kai's left over in the barbershop, go ahead and buy them as well. Because I believe that you can actually... So I think the max cost for Supreme Kai's in the barbershop are around 300 gems if you already bought the cheaper ones. Which means that if you only get 777 gems, that's two Kai's bought, which isn't that many at all. So I would uh, definitely focus on just any of these bottom three because they are honestly very good wishes and they will last you a long time. But yeah, I hope you guys did find this video useful. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like if you are new. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Which wishes are you going to be going for? Personally, I'm going to be wishing for the potential orbs. Supreme Grand Kai's as well as honestly... I will most likely end up going for the Awakening Medals or the Training Items. And of course, once the um, Bomber event comes back, just before the World Tournament, you can go ahead and just find that particular event. But that is it for this video. And yeah, I will see you all in the next one.